Russian troops enter U.S. military base in Niger. Russian troops have entered an airbase in Niger where U.S. troops are stationed. Reuters reported this, citing a senior Pentagon official. The move follows the decision of the Nigerian junta to expel U.S. troops from the country. Military officials running the West African country have asked the U.S. to withdraw nearly 1,000 troops from the country, which until last year's coup was a key partner of Washington in the fight against insurgents who have killed thousands and forced millions to flee their homes. A senior U.S. defense official speaking on condition of anonymity said that Russian troops were not mixing with U.S. troops but were using a separate hangar at Airbase 101, which is located next to Diori Hamani International Airport in Niamey, the capital of Niger. Reuters writes that the move by the Russian military puts U.S. and Russian troops in close proximity at a time when military and diplomatic rivalry between the countries is becoming increasingly fierce over the war in Ukraine. It also raises questions about the fate of U.S. facilities in Niger after the U.S. withdrawal. The official concluded, the situation is not great, but in the short term, manageable. The United States and its allies have been forced to withdraw from a number of African countries following coups that have brought to power groups seeking to distance themselves from Western governments. Recently, U.S. troops left Chad and French troops were expelled from Mali and Burkina Faso. At the same time, Russia is seeking to strengthen relations with African countries, positioning itself as a friendly country without colonial baggage on the continent. Mali, for example, has become one of Russia's closest African allies in recent years and the Wagner private military company has deployed troops there to fight jihadist insurgents. Apocalyptic picture of Ukraine's Chasiv Yar, which is under constant Russian attacks. The Associated Press has obtained exclusive drone video footage of the ruined town of Chasiv Yar in Donetsk Oblast. This particular town is under continuous attack and attempts to be captured by Russian forces. The footage shows Chasiv Yar set amid green fields and woodland pounded into an apocalyptic vista. The destruction is reminiscent of the cities of Bakhmut and Avdiivka, which Ukraine yielded after months of bombardment and huge losses for both sides. Not a single intact building remains in the town, with houses and municipal offices charred, and the town, once home to 12,000 residents, now nearly deserted. The Associated Press noted that capturing the town would give Russia control of a hill from which it could attack other towns that form the backbone of Ukraine's eastern defenses. This would set the stage for a potentially broader Russian offensive that Ukrainian officials say could come as early as this month. Associated Press stressed. On the 14th of April, Alexander Sirsky, commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, said that Russia was concentrating efforts to break through the Ukrainian defense west of Bakhmut, seize the settlement of Chasiv Yar, and create conditions for further advancement to the Kramatorsk agglomeration. He noted that the highest Russian military leadership had set the task for its troops to capture Chasiv Yar by the 9th of May. After capturing Avdiivka and multiple villages in the east, Moscow now has its eyes on the next primary target, the town of Chasiv Yar. Outgunned and outnumbered, Ukrainian troops are fighting against an over 20,000 Russian grouping to defend the strategically important town. Russia has already reached the eastern outskirts of Chasiv Yar. The capture of Chasiv Yar would make it easier for Russia to launch a broader offensive in Donetsk Oblast, a Ukrainian region that has been the scene of the heaviest fighting of the war since 2014. About half of Donetsk Oblast, including the regional capital, is currently under Moscow's control. Chasiv Yar lies in the industrial region of Donbass, which comprises Donetsk and Luhansk Oblasts. 